Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to welcome everybody to the Internet Club. Tune in. Call the number Brown. And soon, very soon, I believe my wife will be back up singing, preaching, and teaching, and play ten more instruments. That'd be nice. The prophet did say you'd be doing more. And anyhow, it's, it's, it's good to be here with all of you having the free breakfast. We want to invite everybody that watches this on the internet. Come on up from Florida, folks. Yeah. New York or wherever you are. Let's have a free breakfast. Now, see, what was I going to talk to you? Oh, yeah, it just came back to me. Now, I'm going to give you a synopsis. Is that what it is, Ron? A summary. Now, i got to do that to bring everybody back up. Because we've just ordained our assistant pastor here, David Cleveland. Yeah. David Cleveland spent a couple of years with Roy Clark and was his protege. And that, that's the Roy Clark that was on Hee Haw. Everybody know that? Who was Hee Haw? Yeah. Everybody know that? All right. Now, again, so uh, we want to. He became our assistant pastor. Also, he plays guitar. And. Uh, so we'll be doing a lot of great things for the Lord. Now, I want to bring you up to date. Red the Cross had a vision. Now you can get the other two weeks. The two, when, they, when they come on the internet, you can get those. She had a vision and she saw Irma. Now, my wife and I have been pretty close and pretty tight throughout the years. Uh, it not, has not been a perfect marriage. We didn't say that at all. But we have been pretty tight. And But now, everything has changed. And I'm going to explain, uh, if I can, what is taking place. And so, uh, the Lord's been waking me up early because I've been able to sleep better. Now, so, uh, Brenda Cross, one of the prof prophetesses here, we have about... Five. I, I left out the little prophet. We have five now in this place, and and she and she saw my wife Irma standing in front of me. Come on up here, sweet. Let's make a demonstration of that right now. Here she is. This is Irma Brown, my wife. Come to her. You face me, sweet. You face me. Get back over there, little ways. Now we were always pretty close. Give me your hands, sweet. We were always pretty close, but you know how things can go. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. That's, that's the truth. We didn't see eye to eye on everything. Are you with me now? Yeah. Yeah. My mate said, are we the yeah. only one that ever had a disagreement? Yeah. You folks have never had a disagreement? Yeah. Well, my hat's off to you. What are y'all laughing about? Huh? But anyhow, we've always had closeness. You know, we've been pretty close. It's the truth. Everybody, everybody knew, didn't, everybody knew that. Amen. Amen. You can tell we were close. Music. Like the same foods, basically. Like eating the same places. Even even like the same uh, program on TV. Archie Bunker. <laughs> <laughs> and we were close. But Brenda Cross had a vision. And she saw Irma to come, in, come inside of me. Come inside. Alright? Ever since she had that vision, say right there. <laughs> Ever since she had that vision. Irma's been inside of me and I've been carrying her around. I'm very aware. Now this is a mystery and I'm going to talk about it. Then, then I'm going to talk about something else. That will motivate you to go back inside your husband where you belong. I'm not going to leave you alone until you do it. You think you have, you think you have when you have it. 
Now we're not saying the husband's right about everything. We're not saying that at all. But there's a mystery here. And if y'all already had it, I wouldn't be talking about it. I have never seen anybody yet that had it. And I'm sure there's been people that had it. I just haven't been around the globe. Y'all got your attention now? I'm going to tell you a secret this morning. Something you've never heard in your entire life. So, we was over moving our friend back to the great state of Texas. Well, we're sitting there. We just sat down and friend was there. Herbal was at home. And we were had some of our church folks and we were working and helping. Won't you give him some paper, sweetie? Or out of my notebook if you want to. I'm gonna give it. I'm going to give you a notebook. Give me, uh, get, get some paper out of it. Give it over here. And then I'm going to give him a notebook. Now, go ahead and give that to him. Jenny, you tear that off. So she can come back up here close to me. Now, <laughs> so we're sitting down and, and, and what's her name? Brenda has a vision again. This time, she saw the real come in. Arma is the real. Come on in, sweet. There you go. The real. Now let's turn to Genesis 2. See if it's in the Bible. My real, you may sit down. Okay. Let's go to Genesis 2. Now, I don't know what all I wrote about Genesis 2 or Genesis 1 rather. We're going to Genesis 1 this time. Uh, I write stuff down and never can find it but it's in my spirit and my heart so we just go back to it. Genesis 1 and we're going to see something here. Now when man now here's what I'm going to show you. You ready? Okay, you ready aren't you? Good, I'm ready. Y'all just stick with me now. Take fast notes or get the tape. Verse 26, And God said, in Genesis 1, 26, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness. And let them... Now, Ron and Richard and Irma, of course, and anybody else, is man singular or plural? Yet when you say man, that, that means all mankind. I, I know this. So let's don't talk about that. It says man, then it says them, right? Yeah. Let them have what? Yeah. Alright, you pick up your little... I was going to look that word up. I want you to look the word up. And you pick, up, pick, pick that up and get that microphone, Jenny, over to him. We're glad to have Jenny here this morning. Yeah. She usually works at the old store up the street. Does a good job. And we're going to have to look up the word dominion. Now let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth. So God created man in His own image. You notice in these words, His? What'd you get? You got it already? Yeah. Well, good. It says, uh, to tread down, uh -huh. subjugate, uh -huh. uh, come to or make to have dominion. Come to. I'm going to sit down over here and rest my bones. I've been on my feet a lot and I'm feeling it. I'm going to sit down right here. Come to or make to. Dominion. Have dominion. Uh, to come to or make to have dominion. Okay. It means prevail against. Prevail against. Reign. Going, 
rule over and take it. Take it. A man was to do this. Okay? And it said man is made in the image and likeness of God. <clears throat> Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. And in the image of God created he who? But then it says male and female. Male and female created he them. Why does it say that? Because he was inside man. God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit over here. I'm gonna pull my little pull that down, folks. Pull my chair over here so I can keep preaching a little bit on the pain side because of standing there too much. All right, I'm gonna do a Sunday night because we usually do this all the time. But David's gonna be preaching tonight. But there'll be fights. Created them, but she was inside him. Well, yeah, she was in that chair. Real. She was already there, Sue. But he had to pull her out. He had to pull her out. Now he meant by faith her to go back in. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Makes man, it takes man and woman to make up the image of God. So when we fuss and fight and carry on like a bat out of hell, we're destroying the image of God in us. Now we're to take that image that's in us and let God work on it and get the big God, little God off the throne that we all have, which produces pride. Anger, lust, rebellion, malice, envy, you know. We have, listen to me, we have no need to be envious and mad at anybody else at their success. Every one of you is a success. You know why? Because you've made in the image and likeness of God. Now, when you get married, you and your husband make up the image and likeness of God. And we're to be examples of the image and likeness of God. Making God look like He's a failure or something when He made us. Now, what are we waiting for, ladies? <coughs> When you hear what I've gotten from the Lord, and I'm getting ready to share it with you in a minute. When you hear the little thing that I got coming out of my shower the other day, you're going to want to get back at your husband and quit pilling around. When you and your husband are on two different tracks, two different minds, you have the will of God. Now that's how close you're to be. But when you've got your own mind and he's got his mind, yeah, you, you may stay married, but that don't mean that you made up the image and likeness of God. See, the image and likeness of God was when the lady, the woman, was inside the man. You see that? She was there. That's what made him the image and likeness. So when she came out, he said, now this is flesh of my flesh, and bone of my bones, and a man shall leave his father and mother and do what? Cleave. Did you say cleave? So. Well, how can you cleave to something? Cleave to something that don't want to cleave. 
I love you under certain conditions, honey. First of all, you make a lot of money. First of all, you do what I want you to do. That is the way it works. Now, I'm going to show you a little secret. Now, the woman is like the church. I'm going to coin a new word for you. Church pride. Got it this morning. Early. Church pride. I've set up the ministry to learn several things. The most several thing I get now is direct. And I, and I love it. I love it. From the Lord. Church bride. Now, that bride of that church is his body. Body? What's a body made of? Flesh, bones, sinews. Is that right? Yep. And the Bible says it's a mystery concerning Christ and the church. There's a mystery how in the world, Ephesians 5, that we can go back in by faith to Christ. Now, how do we go back in by faith to Christ? By submitting. Listen to me very closely. The deeper you submit to Christ, the more, and I'm getting ready to say something to you, the more power you have with God. I want you to think about this. And I, I found it in the book. I found it in the Bible in John, in the Gospel of John. Do you have any idea how much power Jesus had with His Father? In fact, in Matthew 28, he said, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Did you hear that, Clifton? Amen. Cameraman, did you hear it? Amen. All power. Of course, you want some paper? You want some more paper? Oh, you got paper for the North State. You got to get you another book, too. Now, when that church brat submits to Christ, what do you think that Jesus Christ will do for His church brat? What? Anything. I thought you'd say. Do you think that she's the apple of His eye? You take care of the apple of the eye, don't you? Now this is what I'm going to tell you. Ladies, when you go back into that man, yes, you to subject, subject yourself, commit yourself, and subject to everything. But I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to that man. You've been wanting to change your husband? I'm going to tell you how to change it. I've got a secret here to blow your mind. It blew mine. I said, Lord. This must just be me. You can't be talking while I'm stepping out of the shower. This is irreverent. irreverent. <laughs> I've not got any clothes on, God. <laughs> he said, dude, you was naked in your mother's womb when you came out, when you? I said, yes, sir. He said, your mommy, your mommy, <laughs> your mommy prayed for you to be a preacher when she was carrying you. I said, yes, she did. Listen, ladies. You are like the Trojan horse. And when you come inside your husband, he'll bend over backwards to please you. He'll go insane trying to please you. You'll think, boy, I sure wish I'd known this before. Now, let me tell you this. Your motive has got to be right, Sister Fish. Sure. You can't have the wrong motive. You can't say, well, I'm going to submit so I can get my way. That's what you've been trying to do all the time, get your way. Well, he's not perfect. Nobody said he had to be. When you submit and commit, guess what? All of a sudden, you're back inside of him. Is that real? Let me tell you something, folks. He's going to take care of his real. He's not going to... 
biggest rib around. He's not going to sit there with his fist and hit his rib. He's going to take care of that rib and you're going to be on his mind all the time. And this morning, we're going to have a demonstration. we got three couples here. Don't tell me you don't want to do it because if you do that, you're rebelling. You're going to do it by faith this morning. I've been waiting for you to do it, but you're going to do it now. I said, now? I said, now? Why, does the, why do I say now? <clears throat> I'll tell you why I say now. Now faith is a substance of things of for and the evidence a things not seen. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. And evidence of things not seen. And I would sing in the other verse, but i got to go to my Bible and find it. And I'm going to hold my finger way back here. And I go to Hebrews 11 chapter. And I find you verse 3. Through faith, we understand that the word refrained by the word of God. <clears throat> so that they which are seen were not made of things which do appear. You heard, aren't you? I'm going to go right over there and I'm going to lay hands and your wife's going to lay hands on them too. You find, <laughs> you find the store place and why? You go over and lay hands on them because God's got something for you, you're this couple right now. And I knew you were going to be first. You know why? When she comes back and sat at you and submits to you everything, you're going to carry him. And you're already carrying her on your mind. But she's going to have a strong influence on you. Real strong. Pray for it, my Jenny. Father, y'all can fetch your hand. Daniel, you take this microphone and you do the praying, young lady. Pray yes. for that man. Thank the Lord. Pray for that man. Here's what I get. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you play the mic down there, and, and you're going to be getting back up in a few minutes because Thank you, Jesus. you're going to become his real And have more influence than you've ever had in your life. He's going to feel your love. He's going to feel your gentleness. He's going to feel your kindness. Going to have a lasting impression on him. You know, see, you have Christ inside of you. You have great love for him, and you're going to be inside, and he's going to welcome you back in. Now, here's what's going to happen. Did you see this? I've got scriptures on this. I mean, this is incredible. You've been wanting to influence your husband, but you've been wanting to do it your way, and you and you can't the fight. Have you ever have you figured out fighting doesn't get the job done? Have you figured out threatening the divorce does using the D word on don't get the job done? Now we've heard that two are better than one. When you get this image of God right now. 
said they're made in the likeness of an image of God. Remember? That's when the real was inside of him. Now when you have that kind of power, Genesis 5 too, he called their name Adam. And when you go back in there by faith, and you're going to do it right now. I don't know if anybody else is really ready for this, this type of sacrifice, this type of surrender, but I want to tell you, I don't make any bones about it. We fought too much over who who's the head of the house. Is it the man or the woman? You want to know the truth about it? It's both of you. And it's going to shock you. Because then you're going to start agreeing. Because you're going to get in there as a rib and work things around. You're going to start influencing that man. He may not throw as many fits as he's been throwing. And it may not be as violent and as bad. And he may not be as crazy as he's been before. You know why he's acting crazy? Because you're not in there as the real. And you know what? Now, we, we, we as Christians are to be inside one another. Like, 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 like uh, Jesus is in the Father. This is in John 17. And, and how the, God is in Jesus, the Father is in Jesus. But let me tell you something. When that woman goes back by faith inside that man, this is a mystery. There's a mystery concerning Christ and the church. But when that woman is in, 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 when that bride church is there in that woman, I mean in Jesus, when that bride church is in Jesus, she can ask anything she wants to. But you know what? She's going to ask the right thing. Now, you're going to influence this man. I want you to get right over there right now. Stand up. Can you stand up? Right, you stand up. Now, you get just as close. You get right here, sir. You get just as... Now, are you, let me ask you a couple of questions. I know we married you all. No, don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. See, see you're not supposed to. Don't do that yet. I don't know. Now, you turn around and face it. Well, uh, y'all, y'all look, look this way. I can look at both of you. You look like that. Now, I, I, we married you, and I know, and I, I know, see, he says, flesh of my flesh, bone of my bones, and we would have never gotten this. The Lord had shown vision. Uh, so if you people on the internet or, or, or tape, you want to keep on fighting over this, fight over this message and go ahead and fight. Because I'm, I'm going to be ruling and reigning with my wife and my wife's going to be ruling and reigning also because it's a joint thing and we're one. I don't know. I don't know the mystery of this. I don't know how it works. I just know it works. I'll say it. Where's your mic at, sweetie? Because you both have the mind of Christ for one thing. Did you hear that? Yeah. Are you ready to listen to accept the joy, the unity, and to reverence Him as the Lord of the house? She said yes. Abraham, Sarah called Abraham Lord. They had something going. Now, they weren't always right in their decisions. So the thing of it is, just because you go back in the end, don't make you all perfect. You could flood the dove. And the woman, if she'd have chose this in the beginning soon, wouldn't be running over there to the serpent playing hug you, Mary, kiss the face. And whatever gets well, she's going to be singing that song on the opera. Let's play. Hug you better and kiss your face. There's just no one. Take your place. Hugging you, kissing you. Oh, I love to play these games with you. I got off that. <laughs> now, she's ready. I can tell. See, I knew you were ready. Are you, are you ready? No, you I'm going to have to tell you something, okay? She's going to drastically influence you. But you going to drastically influence the real that's inside. You don't beat your face. You don't take your fist to beat yourself like this. Uh, did anybody do that? You did. I don't even play the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 when you get a crack. Well, you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> you're ready, I can tell. Go back inside. Ready, set, go. 
go back and say, Father, I pray one man. Yeah. Stretch your hand. One man and one accord on this couple. She's going back in faith and her desire. They're doing it at a young age. They're sitting on Mount Zion. So much love coming down to their children, coming down to their family. Lord, so much unity and so much love. He's going to be carrying her around and she's going to be well aware of him also. And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Give the Lord a hand clap for this Now, you say, how did it work? I don't know. I don't know how the lights work back there. <laughs> Richard knows a little bit about it. He go out to the breaker box and run him a wire. I go out there and start the car. But I'd have to have Ron Reveal here if something went down. You see what I'm saying? Now, are you ready to be in subjection? That's the key. Now, you've been trying to beat some sense in his head. Well, the one reason why he ain't got a whole lot of sense, you've got to go back in and make up the image and likeness of God. We well, said, what about single people? Let me tell you something. God can supernaturally take care of a single person. In fact, Paul talks about not having no distraction for a wife, for a man, uh, for a woman, and for a man. No distraction. And Jesus will automatically, will, will be your bridegroom. So you won't miss out. But don't think, well, I'm going to divorce the old devil and, and marry the Lord. That won't quite work that way. You cannot expect him to be perfect. But I'll tell you this much. Can I whisper a secret? <clears throat> I won't say it right on the internet, but I'm going to whisper it. Are we ready? You're going to have a lot more influence than you had before. Guess what? You're going to have a whole lot more love than you had before. And yes, you're going to have such an awareness of the other one. I don't know whether to say the next line or not. <laughs> what? If in doubt, probably not. If in doubt, probably not. That's my real talking. Well, I know what you're going to say. Does that mean you got a feeling you forgot? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it and then let my rib gouge me later. I think I'm going to say it. We don't, which, which man do you want me to say it to? Can't say it to Ronnie, can't say nothing. I'll say it to Daniel, he's not here, right? Can, can we say it to Daniel? Yeah. Daniel, and Daniel will hear the tape. He always does. He goes to work. He may not be able to get the rest of his job done that day, but he's going to hear the tape. <laughs> when a let me get this right. Let me, let me get this right. Daniel, we're getting Daniel here. I got to get the right words. How you doing, sister? I'm glad you're finally speaking up. You're going to be on the internet. We'll put you on the internet, the intercom. My wife is waiting. She can't help me. Yet. Okay. Uh, for Daniel, he'll be here tonight. Be regular service tonight. I have to say it five times for everybody here. Nothing else. We need we need rehearsal and practice. So we just do it here in the church and here in the offering. When a pretty woman walks by, she's not going to have hardly or any effect on you at all. I want you to get this. (laughs) 
Is it okay? You're not okay with it. My, my friend was not okay with it. Is there any other way to say it, Richard? Pretty much it. He's not, he's not abstaining. He can smell it. Oh, he has imagination. Like crazy. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, Richard, you take that mic now. We're going to go, we're going to have him round the room. And uh, after you get done, we'll get the assistant pastor over there. And you know what? We're going to go around the room with this. How would you like for your husband to have his mind on you all the time? That says in Genesis, the 20th chapter. How are you doing, Doris? What? We're going to go around the room with this. So are you ready for this? Listen, how are you doing back there? I can't remain. I'm doing all right. All right. In Genesis, the 20th chapter, Abraham told his wife, I want you to, I want you to tell somebody you're my sister. Because they, they will take you, you know, and, 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 and they want you, you're a beautiful woman, and they want you. To be, no, to be their wife. Now, I, I'm not sure that Abraham was thinking clearly here. Because if he was said he would, she was his wife, right. wouldn't they be less likely to take her if he, if he, she, she, he said she was his wife instead of his sister? I was afraid that they would kill him. To get oh, him. give her the mic, give her the mic. Give her the, get, the real's talking. Come up here, speed. So everybody, I want you on camera. I know you're still working on it. But he was afraid that they were going to kill him and take his wife. That's right. She's right. Thank you, sweet. All right, head back over there to the man on that red man. Let's get this thing straight. Are we, are we working it out here? Well, fish, are you, are you getting... See, the thing is, I think we go too fast as preachers and teachers. We go, we go like a blur, a whiz, uh, uh, and nobody knows what you're talking about. But we're going to get it. When a pretty woman walks by, she will not have the influence on you. You know what? You've got the influence on the inside of God. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you've got the image of God. I want you to see that. It took man and woman to do what? Y'all get it? Can you get this? To make up the, Now, I've got all kinds of scriptures on this. Read them while you're on vacation. They're all over the place. That's in the book of John. I tell you what, I'm just going to tell you the book of John, and, and you'd be like these children that hunt for eggs, you go out there and find it. And I have the number one egg man set here. He's an egg. I egg him. I mean, he's an egg man. And that's Brother Fish. He comes behind me every time and makes me look bad. He comes up with all these beautiful scriptures. Don't he, Yeah. He sure does. He comes up with all these beautiful scriptures. If you go to John 5, you'll find I don't think I'm going to make it there. I would like to go there. But you go out here like a little child, right? Go to baby's baby. baby. Don't the Bible say as a new born babe do what? Desire the sincere milk of the word. I can't hear y'all. Desire the sincere milk of the word. Can you get a little bit louder for the deaf and dumb? Desire the sincere milk of the word. All of you. Desire the sincere milk of the word. That you may do what? You grow when you get in the word. And you start hunting like somebody was hunting for Easter eggs. It's Easter, all right. It's the Word of God, folks. This is—I went—I went wild. I knew where to go. I've been knowing where to go for three or four days. But five, a little bit before five a.m. this morning. I woke up and I said, I believe I'll pray while I'm here in the bed. I did. Then I got up. 
got up, got ready to pray again. And the time I got through writing the prophecies from last night, the time I got through writing what all I got to do, not only today and tomorrow, and this and that, I was half an hour doing all that. So it was a while before I got to pray. I got to get up a little early, like three. Of our congregation, <coughs> there is one person that gets, what time do you get up, Doris, where you're at? 5.30. You get up at 5.30 and you want to move, move it up an hour or two, don't you? Behind, I mean like 4.30 or 3.30, wouldn't that be nice? You get to pray. See the Lord. You can't lay in the bed at 5.30. It's going to be a little slow. I don't know how to lie with it. I'm sorry I'm You're making me laugh. I was laughing at you and Josephine a while ago. I'm telling you, y'all become fast buddies. We've been a buddy with Josephine since 1974. One of our best friends. She's one of our best friends. She really is. She'll do anything in the world for Thank you, sir. The influence that you have concerning anything. Whatever he's doing, with that real there. Remain there for faith. He's going to wonder that what he's doing if he's pleasing his wife or not. And when he finds out he's displeased her, he'll try to stop him. Stop him. Now, is that, that pretty good? Yeah, Without yeah. you saying too much. Because you've been yakking your head off that old dude. It's getting worse. <laughs> Let me tell you who gets up earlier than anybody in this congregation. I was up to see our friend, Peter Lane. Every morning, Richard, he's up at 2.30. Working. Got a new job up at the pen. And they ain't writing with a ballpoint pen either. So every morning, Do you see that when you come back into your husband, you and him now make up the image of God that's been missing? To a certain degree. And you have, listen to this, you have what you had back in the garden, and you know what you had back in the garden. Folks, when you and that woman join hands now, Richard, and you all pray, go on in there with you. You're real, aren't you? You're real, aren't you? Jesus real. And you know how well he likes reals. <laughs> see, he likes reals. You see yeah. that? Unreal. Now, help me. They said it last Sunday, but I'm a goofball. I don't know. They say that the man has a real Listen, is that correct? Yeah. No, I don't think so. It's so? Yes? Yeah. Don't know? <laughs> well, maybe we don't take a look. Uh-huh. Don't worry with it. We know this much. You're making up the image in the likeness of God. And you can only do this through Christ and through the blood of Jesus. There's no other way. See, folks, we could have done it when we first started out. How come we didn't do it? We didn't know about it. It's the missing link or the missing rail. We read the scriptures. Oh, have we read them? Therefore, shall a man, Genesis 2.24, Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother, they shall cleave unto his wife, cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother. you got to leave mom and daddy. And shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Did you see that couple cleaving a while ago? How many saw that going on? <laughs> now we know they've hugged and kissed once upon a time, but this was a different. You should have had y'all kiss. I've seen y'all kiss and kiss like that since you waited. Day. But listen, very close right where we are. We have the same amount of ribs. So man does not have a rib. 
is that's a, a rumor. Of wow, course. What do you call it? Fable. <clears throat> Fable. Thank you, sir. Adam might have had a little nice to be Adam might have had a little nice to be Well, God was able to see that. Oh, you said something. Yep. You realize what you just said? And I'm going to add one of this, but we got all of ours. That, 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 by having all of ours, that's supposed to represent the real that's coming back in. Now, I know some of y'all are going to teach, but see, when I, when I, I'm going to turn it to y'all. I'm not going to do all this. I'm going to turn it to you, Fireball. I want somebody to get up here and preach. I'm getting ready to do it because I haven't went to where I want to go. I'm just telling you about it. John. Try John 5. Try John 14. Try John 16. Some of these scriptures will blow your mind. If I could just pull one out. But before we go there, look at Genesis 128. We all have you to pull one out in John. No. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Do you see how powerful a little church can be if a husband and a wife are married like this, enjoying like this? If, if she's come back and submitted to him with rib as a rib, I, I, what do we think the other couple's going to do? They want to follow the same example. I mean, heard all this before. And I haven't heard it in all the years I've been a Christian. I wish I'd have heard this eon ago, but I've been all right now. God bless them. This is 128. And God said unto them, Who's that? The man and the woman. Yeah. See the what I'm saying? She's right, in, she's right inside of him. Yeah. Yeah. Be fruitful and do what? Multiply. That's what's going to happen to me and Irma. That's what's going to happen to you all too. You're going to be fruitful. You're going to have the love, the joy, the peace, and all that good stuff. And multiply. You are going to affect a lot of people. And replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over the fish, the sea, and the fowl there, over every living thing that went upon the upon the earth. Now, who's going to do it? Man and woman. Why? They make up the image and likeness of God. So when we separate ourselves and get these crazy divorces, huh? He's jerking the rib out, throwing it away. She's pulling out, screaming and yelling as she drives down the highway. Better than that, she's kicked him out and got him before the judge. The old dude. Now we got the old crazy man locked up. And what hell have we got going on? We didn't know how to do this. I've been church after church after church. I've never heard this. And I'm telling you something new. And when she's inside of him, she influences him. Now, God and the Lamb are going to be inside what? The city. Say it again. I can't hear nothing. The new city. So actually, you're inside one another through Christ. Because in John 17, we are to be inside one another. But that man is also to be inside of his wife. What kind of influence do you think he's going to have? Oh, he thought he had in. He was trying to get a handle on you. Right? He's got it now. Once, see what happened when you went inside of him, young lady. Now, he's really got influence on you. you know, I know they're in love. They're sweethearts, I can tell. I really can and I knew he would be first. How did you know that? I just kept feeling it, sensing it. Now, I don't want to tell you the rest of you to pray this week, and then we, 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 we'll jump back on it and somewhere down the road 10, 15 years from now. I think we'll do it. If you, if you volunteer and, and make me believe, if you're strong enough, now, uh, don't go inside of him as by faith, and then tomorrow, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I shouldn't have done that. I must have been not. No, you're not here if you don't do it. See, do you see? 
He has influence over you. You have influence over him. You understand? So, cleave, that force of a man, leave his father and cleave to his wife. They should, it's, <clears throat> I wrote a song about it and still didn't get it, told me. When God joins us together, it must be forever. <clears throat> when God joins us and makes us one, we must leave all others. We must cleave to one another. When God joins us and makes us one. So I thought he made us one. He did. But you got to turn around and walk in. You got to do what he said. You got to, in other words, you got to do what he said. Well, he made us one. Then you've got to, by faith, take this. Now, what happens, and this is already going on with the couples in church, I happen to know this. Your spirits are joined together in praise, worship, prayer. And I can tell when I'm talking to one, it's like I'm talking to the other. You're joined together. And then you get the same word. You get in the Bible. Yes, Lord. This couple here to my right place, you know, together every day. This couple here, you're looking at right here, my wife and I, we pray together every day. And some of the rest of you are doing some praying. And so what happens when you get in the Word and join your soul together? Yeah. Now, what I want you to do, Doris, I want you to believe God. When Pierre, you know, we can work it all out. We will. God will work it out. That this is going to happen to y'all. And you know what I think? I believe it's going to happen. Now, might want to shut those doors. If they, if they, folks, if they start running out and screaming, I'll lose, I'll lose my thought. Because, see, I'm governed by the Holy Ghost. I've had a talk with God this morning. Brothers and sisters, he had a big long talk with me. And I'm never the same. I'm never the same. Aren't you glad you're here this morning?
lose everything. Well, by faith, she comes back in. In other words, she has to use her faith. You see what I'm saying? It's a mystery. Read it in Ephesians 5. Just like, now get this, everybody. This is what you want to hear. This is what you need to hear. Are you ready? The ribs trying to help him out right now. See that? Going on. She was concerned about him before, but she's going to be double concerned now. He was in love with her before, but he's going to be a lot more in love now. You watch, see what I'm telling you. You'll feel this thing. And I want you to testify when you tell me about it. You're just going to start feeling it. You will. you start feeling this. Y'all are ready for this. What was I going to say? It's a mystery just like the Ephesians 5. Thank you, sweetie. That's my real talking. <laughs> she's full of the Spirit. She's full of the Word. We have a free, full, powerful joy. Now, here it is. This is the mystery concerning Christ and the church. How that the church right is inside. Christ. And not only that, guess what? He's inside of her. But not only that, Jesus is inside the Father, and the Father's inside of Him. And we're inside of God the Father, inside Jesus, and God and the Father are inside of us. I figured all that out. Read John 17. Now, that's how you become equal. Through the joy. And he is going to really pay attention to what you say now. I'm looking for the right verse. If your wife's got Jesus, and, and, and it, you, can't, you, you can't do this without that, your wife's got Jesus. you you got Jesus. And then she voluntarily subjects herself to you. By faith, comes, comes right on the inside of you. It's like we, by faith, get into Christ. And then what happens when you, when you come on the inside of her, he automatically, through the Spirit, comes inside of you. What do you got? The image and likeness of God. You've not only got God inside of you and Jesus, but you've got the image and likeness of God by accepting that joining, and you all are going to have power. Yeah. Through love and through humility. You're going to multiply, you're going to have fruitful and multiply. You see that? You're going to be fruitful and multiply. You're going to have influence. Incredible influence. My wife and I, when we sang together and we played together, we influenced an awful lot of people. Now, we're going to influence, we're going to be a bigger influence now. See this? Her and I have had to go through some serious things to get to where we are so you could benefit. We're first fruits in this ministry. I don't know how many people's got this. I don't know if anybody's got it. Maybe a whole, maybe a whole bunch of people's got it. I never hear them talk about it. If you had it, wouldn't you talk about it? Yeah. You see, Richard, that when your wife comes, there it's out of you, the influence you do. When you're driving to work, she, you are so aware, and I want you to find this out. When she goes to work at Sears, you, she's going to be so aware they can offer her, listen to this, all of Sears to give you up and she'll turn it down. Now that's pretty strong. He would submit. 
There is so much to this study. I'm going to leave the rest of it up to Brother Fish. <laughs> Wednesday night. And he'll get it. He'll do it. He does it every time. And I said, yeah, that was the verse I had. And then he goes and finds other verses. This is incredible. This is literally incredible. Now, Jonathan and David were not married. And there was no homosexual act going on there. But that should be the same thing with every Christian. We should have a covenant like that. I should have a covenant with each of you prophets and ministers and, and Brother David Cleveland. This is what we're here to help one another and protect one another because we're inside of each other. We're actually inside of each other. Yeah, we're knit together. You, uh, I'm inside of you all and you're inside of Irma. That you they, see that? that what? They, that they may be one father, even as we are one. All right, hand him the mic. He's going to have to tell that story. Uh, it's too good. It's too good. He had to, he had to take it over to him. You know, see, I said, Jenny, take it, and he got it. <laughs> now, you all saw that, didn't you? I said, Jenny, take it, because he, he's, he's Jenny, and she's rich, because their name is one. Why Trousky? I said, Jenny, take it over. And Richard started getting up because they're that much more. Do you see that? That rim's already affected him. All right, Brother Fish. Brother Fish, stand up here. I'm going to have to put you on the, uh, up here in front. Where everybody can see you. I, I'm just about done because these people done got it. I'm looking yes, at sir. that one verse, though. Yes, sir. That, <clears throat> the Scripture says, Father, that they may be one... That's you and me, brothers and sisters in the Lord, even as we are one. That's what Jesus prayed. And you talk about being fulfilled now. If she comes inside of you, man, you don't have to look at anyone else. You have no more need that has to be fulfilled. Your wife has truly fulfilled you. She has fulfilled the will of God by coming back inside of you. It's not a lot of adultery, brother. And Amen. somebody comes up to a blind man like me and says, Hi, how are you? Or they smell nice. Don't phase me a bit because she comes back inside and fills me up. Fills that space or that maybe need that your wife is supposed to fulfill. You get married so you don't do those things anymore. Rich why it's lost me, the pain is going to leave. I've been sitting here seeing pain, 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 and I knew it was you, but I saw her come inside, and she's going to fill up that space where the pain is, and it will leave because you two have power together when you pray together. Thank you, Jesus. I've been watching my wife. There's some things that used to, we used to have conflict with years ago, some people, and now she's agreeing with me. No conflict. And I said, to her, how should I say this to her this time? It's all matter. I say the truth. She says, you're right. I said, what? <laughs> I'm right? Yeah. That's becoming one. She comes back inside. Yeah. Wonderful. 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 That's great. Beautiful work. Yeah. I have been noticing something, and I just haven't said anything. It's almost like she's got one leg inside of me and an arm, and she's trying to come in. <coughs> she's won't be to get this thing working all week long. Am I correct? Tell me if I'm correct. She said, Amen. Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. And I want to say this to Sue and Clifton. Sue, you're so close, it ain't even funny. 
all you're like somebody standing on the cliff and they'll just go, you laughing. Because you you dealt with some things many years ago. You told me that. You told me about the fence you used to throw. I right or wrong? You were a dangerous woman. You threw some real bad spells. And I don't know how you came out of it except by the Lord John. And now I see you with Clifton. And I'll tell you the truth. I don't want people to see anybody more subject to him. And he's needed this all along. I believe you all are ready.
Uh, there was a time we had no idea what it was about. But uh, the DNA, the rib was DNA. It was a small microscopic uh, molecule that contained everything that you are. It contained everything that uh, Adam was. Yes. And when God removed that DNA and placed it in the woman, this is the reason why we can't figure women out. We can't figure them out. Because the DNA, that part of that man was taken out and put in the woman. So he does not understand why she wants to go shopping all day long. Because it's not in him anymore. He does not understand why she's got to have 18 pairs of shoes. Because it's not in there anymore. See, he doesn't want any high heel shoes. He doesn't care about stuff like that. He, he, because it's not in there. You see what I'm saying? See, that part of his DNA is gone. He doesn't think about it. Emotionally, it doesn't touch him. <laughs> but here this morning, you learned how to put the DNA back in. What a powerful thing, because now you, uh, other men and women, are going to continue on to battle over nothing, and the man's going to get mad, he doesn't know why. He does not understand. He would just sit down, shut up, and listen to her. Things would go a lot smoother. But he can't do it because he doesn't understand it because it's not in here. You have learned how to put that DNA back and become one, become powerful, and become everything that God wants you to be. Well, that man's going to be preaching tonight. I can so cut a real here, stir it up. I couldn't get over, like just after all these years I've been in the, in the, the ministry, 35, 37. Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God, he created male and female. And created he that. The female was already in there, and all of a sudden you turn over, and they take the female out. I never saw that before. Yeah. There you go. When you first look at it, you're okay, he made man and woman. Yeah. But he didn't make man and woman, he didn't make woman until after. Yeah, he didn't separate her until after. Yeah, he said there would be one flesh, but she wandered off after the serpent. Well, she wandered off and got mixed up with the serpent. Yeah, he, 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 and he got mixed up with the serpent. We really got a serpy, a serpy situation. <laughs> and then it's true, though. He took out the, 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 the rib, but he, he created man and woman before he was right. Is that it's a serpentine situation? What is this? I Okay, see, the man, the woman was in that already. Then in Genesis two, he took it out. He took the rib out. All she's doing is going back where she used to yeah. be, where she's been to be all the time. Jesus was in the bosom of the Father right. and he came out. Exactly. And he said, I'm still in the Father, even though he was out. You got that? I'm still in, though I'm out. But the woman was in the man, it blew me away. The woman, the woman was in the man, then he took the rib out and made it and made it made it, you know, visible. Yeah, that blew me away, didn't it? I never saw that before. You know what? It's amazing. You're gonna have some oh, I've got my awesome. You have spare witness. Uh, 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 what, sister, we don't care what us don't be doing. It's not like I'm here to please the Father, nobody else. I don't care what anybody says. I want to make it. If, I, if I've gone this long, I don't want to miss this. We have to hold the spirit down. Yeah. What am I here for? You know what? When I was when I was a, a young um, okay, go ahead. When I was a young Catholic. Um, I could understand, and I was a little girl. All these nuns were getting married. They actually put the gown on, the white dress, the ring. They used to get married to Jesus. I said, oh, wow, I want to get married to Jesus. 
Why would anybody? Why would anybody want to become a nun? So I want to become. I was going to become a nursing nun. So I'm a nun. I'm not one of those. You're a sister. They should call me. I'm a sister. Yes, yeah. right. I'm a sister. I mean, I in my desire, I always had a desire. I wanted to be married to Jesus. I mean, this. Why would anybody want to be married to the Lord? Why would they want? And then another thing, I says, if, if God can make the trees and everything else, the whole creation, how can he? And I talked to him. How can he doesn't talk to me? I was a little girl. I used to pray every every day. How can he doesn't talk to me? And all of a sudden, I find out. You know what? He does talk to you. Oh, I got my, 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 my. The trouble is, we don't have ears to listen. She just busted the camera. We don't have ears to listen. He does talk to you. He talks to the Bible. He talks to the people. He talks to your husband. He talks to your wife. He talks to your children. I want to keep the ears to hear from you. Just a little bit. Put that a little bit. Sometimes the devil talks to you. You busted the camera. Sometimes the devil talks to you too, through your children. That's your relatives. Take your hand off the corner. Okay, you can have a bag. <laughs> Oh. Usha mama masha. Strike that. No, I know you're not. 
Well, I know what you're saying. It does. Male and female created them. Yeah, it took both of them to make the image of likeness of God, and I'll not go into that. Too deep this morning. Now, let's go back to where we were. John 15. We're, we're, we're going to go. We're going to get done. We had a wonderful breakfast, and it made the preacher preach a long time. <laughs> So you all probably want to dismiss it, right? No, these people love the Word. They're not 30 sermonette, sermonette Christians. They're not. They love the Word. I want to read what I got. Okay, strike that female and female. They're, they, they, they both may have those, and they call them chromosomes? Does a, does a chromosome, I mean hormones? Does a man have any female hormones? You think so? Yeah. Does a man have any? I mean, does a woman have any male hormone? Yeah, There's your one. yeah I think so. There's your oneness right there, unity. Now, now that they're outside the male, the man, they need to go back in so they can become one with the man again. You got that? Yeah. And be his real. <clears throat> now, when they come back in, watch this. You ready for this one? The man will then know how. A woman feels. Uh -huh. yeah. what? Oh. Says, Dwell with them according to knowledge. Dwell with them according to knowledge. That's what the Bible says. Now, get that microphone and I want you to say that. This is something about well with them according to knowledge. And I believe in that same section it talks about that your prayers be not hindered. Knowledge means knowing your wife. Yeah. Now, it's harder to know somebody way over yonder somewhere, but if they're inside of you, you can feel their little feelings. And then guess what? You know them, you have knowledge of them, you're with me. So I don't understand that woman. I can't figure out. It's because she ain't come back inside of you. You understand. Yeah, you don't understand. I mean, you heard that. I don't understand that woman. You understand And guess what? You're going to also understand the man. You don't understand. You don't understand what I'm going through. Thank you, sister. Now you're going to also understand the man. I don't know if I can really. Oh, I guess I would. And knowing me, I will. But I would rather. Let's put it to you this way: perform a marriage. Or this has been dealt with before marriage. Well, I don't think you could do it before. No, 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 no. probably not. They got to do it. They got to do it at the wedding, so they can carry it home with them. Now, I'm getting ready to quit so we can help you. And I got you in mind. Believe me. Now, the man will know how the woman feels. He'll have her inside of him. He'll know how to treat his wife. I know you wanted to hear that. This is why I said, wait till you hear this message. I kept telling my wife, wait till you hear this thing. You're not going to believe it. And I don't believe it. But I do believe it. And right now, uh, if you... Uh, why you're... Okay, John 15. you got to go there. Now, now listen to me. The greatest example that I know of is besides God and the Father, this is this, is Jesus and His church bride. That's what you go by. Remember Ephesians 5? Husbands, subject your uh, selves, wives, subject yourself to your husbands, like, like the, the church is to, to the Lord. Well, that's your example. It's Jesus and His bride, His church bride. I want you to see how she's supposed to act. John 15, 1. I'm the true Father, I'm the true man, my Father's the husband. If a branch of me that bears not fruit, it takes away. If a branch that bears fruit, it purges it, that it may bring forth much fruit. Okay? A more fruit. John 15, verse 3. Now you're clean through the word which I've spoken to you. Now this is the icing on the cake. Get ready. Now you're clean through the word I've spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. Now he's talking about Jesus. Jesus is talking about himself and his church pride. Are you with me? That's you and me. Now watch what he says to us. Now this is the perfect relationship. And it'll work the same way with the husband and the wife. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
This is too much. I can't stand it, David. Abide in me, I do, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. Now, when the woman and the man in Genesis 1.28 were in this union before she was over here in this other, and she should have came back, they were to be fruitful and multiply. Now look at the fruit. He won't be half as mean as he's been. He shouldn't be. Now, ladies, you can step out of that situation. You can leave that situation. You don't have to stay inside of it. You and him put the boxing gloves on. Go ahead. Throw the folks to that to the, and, and the frying pan. But that's not the way to get the job done. You both of you are working together. And the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except you abide in the vine. No more can you accept you abide in me. You have to abide in that husband. I said, well, we had this, uh, hey, look at him. He ain't no good. I'm, I'm just going to jump out of the, I'm just going to jump out of the relationship. You see what I'm saying? He ain't acting right. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Or he could say, she ain't right, black, acting right. I'm going to give kick the rib out. Did you hear me, man? Amen. I'm going to find me another old bone somewhere. Y'all yeah, bet you do. I am the vine. You see what I'm saying? I'm getting right there where you're living. I am the vine. You are the branches. You, that he that binds in me and I in him, the same bring of what? Forth much fruit. For without me you can do what? Not going to nothing. Yeah. Right. I'm going to tell you what you're going to find out. You and your husband can, can, can pray it down. Heard out your hands this morning on the way to pick you up, Doris. And ever since the power has been moving, I can feel it moving inside of me. If a man abide in, not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, as when the men gather them and cast them into fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, if, do you see that if? You can't come out of that. Folks, you can walk away from Jesus Christ. These people say you cannot know what I'm talking about. You can walk away from this, and you can walk away from your husband, and he can kick you out of the door. But you got to remember, Jesus is not going to kick you out. He wants you. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. Alright, here it is. Here's the power. You shall ask what you will, it shall be done of you. He's talking about the bride. Church. Ask what you will, it'll be done. This is this. Now that's what happens. You go up to your husband and you're going to ask for the right things too. Amen. Ask what you will, and it'll be done to you. He'll try. He'll, try. He'll jump over her who's trying to do it because he loves you. Oh, you're not trying to get him away from Christ. You understand? I'm not Is there anything? Ask what you will. And, and, and yeah, ask what you will. And that's like the husband and the wife. Or Jesus and the bride. Now, I have not finished this subject. But I'll tell you what. We have something to sink our teeth in. We have something. Now, listen to this. You can carry home with you. You can look forward to your life because it's going to happen with you all. I like that. I mean, there's going to be so much love between you all. I mean, it's, you know, it's going to be something. Let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you for the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. Blessing each home and each marriage and each person. Thank you, Lord. God bless all of you. We love you. We'll be back tonight at 5 30, and then we're going to kick off the service at 6, and Brother Dave's going to preach for us. And you heard a little bit of that preaching a while ago. This man's, a, this man's full of wisdom.